Hey guys, what's up? It's Vaina. Welcome back to the channel. I have scoured the web to find you a bunch of different products that are in stock and available right now that I have basically kind of just figured out over time tend to look really good when adding it to a traditional home. And these are actually modern pieces, things that you wouldn't necessarily think would go in a traditional home, but they end up refreshing a traditional space because they add the two things that you need in interior design to make your home look more decorated. And that is adding opposite shapes and also adding opposite textures. So the first item that I think you should add to your traditional home is a tulip side table or a tulip table in general. This looks really good next to more traditional style of lounge chair or, or accent chair, because we are sort of pairing something really clean with something that's more ornate. And in traditional design, you're going to have furniture that has just more details and carving. I found the side table and the table at interior icons. And I just feel like you're getting the best deal there from all the research I've done, because you're going to get actual real marble. And I feel like the shape is a lot closer to the original, which is a lot more like um, thinly proportioned. Some of the modern knockoffs of the tulip table, I feel like are a little bit clunkier and sometimes they use imitation marble, which I don't like as much. So I'm going to link these ones that I found from interior icons. The next thing I like adding to a traditional um, interior is black and white in general, but specifically black and white bedding. I feel like that can really um, freshen up a room, especially when you've chosen to go with more of a traditional headboard or bed, which I do recommend if traditional is your base style. I really like this bedding from Keats. This is, I, I always pronounce it wrong. I feel like they have the best quality for the money. And I sort of prefer this simple, like white bedding with the black piping, because I feel like it's a fresher take on maybe the hotel style bedding, which is still fine, but it leans a little bit more glamour. I almost always recommend black and white pillows to a lot of my clients to kind of just refreshen up sort of a boring, dead feeling living room. So I have um, selected these two pillows from Etsy that I think are really great finds. Not super expensive, but they really do actually go a long way when you add them to your space and slipper chairs are actually a traditional design in themselves and they're always done well when they're done as a pair because they're armless they'll add more seating to the living room i really love this pair that i found on pinterest from a designer who did like a showcase house but i actually absolutely love the added fringe which is a traditional detail but you'll notice that they're kind of upholstered right here and sort of a neutral, almost black and white print, which I feel like cleans it up a little bit. So I found a couple of slipper chairs from One King's Lane that I found were um, affordable, but also like they look like they're good quality and they, they're not like super cheapy cheapy, which you don't want to do. So I like this one that has kind of like a loose cushion feel. I also liked this velvet slipper chair, which definitely has that more like glam side of it, kind of like Milo Bowman-esque. So if you found that your base style is traditional, but you leaned a little bit more glamour, choosing this would be a great option because it has the velvet and a little bit more of that kind of contemporary feel. And then there's just actually a modern slipper chair that I felt like was clean and simple. I love that black and white ticking look. And then you could pair that with a more sort of ornate traditional sofa. Okay. Next one is lighting. So modern lighting is a quick and easy way to refresh a traditional style home. And there's three different styles of lighting that I like in general. Um, one is just having like a pharmacy floor lamp or just like a floor lamp in general. And that will introduce metal into your space, which a lot of people forget to add. Um, and I believe you can mix different metals. So don't be afraid to mix brass and chrome in the same space. And maybe your uh, drapery rods are bronze. Like I like the mix of all three of them. And then I also found this more angular modern version of a pharmacy floor pharmacy task lamp, um, which I thought was beautiful as well. So these shapes that you see on the lights could be transferred to either the floor lamp or the table lamp, but they'll, they just really make everything look more crisp. And then I also just like a simple table lamps. I feel like that have more of a kind of ceramic, chunky, very simple shape. I'm also a huge fan of triangular shades because that's actually very um, traditional, but elegant and classy. This table lamp is actually from CB2 and it's well-priced in stock. 
and it has both the base and the triangular shade. And then this pendant you've probably seen um, before, but it's a really great classic. It's from Rejuvenation and it will really give a sense of classic, but yet in a modern way to your traditional home, especially in the kitchen above an island. And the shade can actually be selected in a number of different colors. You could do white with the gold inside, you could do black, uh, with silver inside, there's like a lot of different ways to actually choose them. I did that in a project in uh, Tennessee, in Nashville, and that came out, that kitchen project came out really well, and the pendants were a large part of that. And then you can even go super modern, actually. You can go super, super modern on your lighting, too. Um, I love this one. It is from Interior Icons as well. And just pairing that with like a very ornate sofa will give you the opposite shapes and textures, but it'll make it fresh and unexpected but I think goes along. I think one thing that's really important for traditional people to understand is that when you're choosing a sub style, you wanna kind of go opposite. So, so whenever I work with my traditional clients, I always work with people who have a number of pieces that are really traditional, okay? And I find that when they add in something that's too close to traditional, like farmhousey style wood furniture, that always looks so bad and so dated because it's too close in styles, it's like ornate, but then like wood and then wood and it's two different wood tones doesn't really go. But I find like if you just stick to mostly classical traditional pieces of furniture and then you go to actual classic modern pieces, they're so far apart that they actually complement each other, if that makes sense. Okay, and then the last thing you can add is a modern coffee table. If you have a traditional design, you do not wanna go with anything like espresso wood, anything contemporary, anything like Ashley home store furniture in that kind of like, transitional style like that does not look very good we want to go with something more clean and more modern a marble coffee table glass coffee table any kind of stone or even antique mirror would be great because then we're adding in another element to your home and you're probably decorating with too much wood so um, my general rule is like you got to look at the sofa that you have and if you are traditional I kind of think it's better to have a traditional sofa the more traditional your sofa is I think the more modern you should go with your coffee table I pulled a couple of coffee tables that I found for Wayfair, believe it or not. I, I'm like actually shocked at the level of quality of these tables and the size is amazing. So I first found this um, marble coffee table on Wayfair and it's gorgeous, really big. And the price is like $500, which I think is actually an amazing price. Then I, I found this one that is basically a solid marble top on hairpin legs. And I just finished watching Jenna Lyons show on HBO Max and she literally has this exact coffee table. It's not from Wayfair, but it's from ABC Harpen and Home, but she has this style of coffee table in her country home and I think it looks really great. Um, so this could be with even just like a more, a little bit more of a traditional style sofa could go perfectly with that. And then I also found this one. This is like a long linear style coffee table. I don't think it's marble. I think it's like painted wood, but when I looked at the customer reviews, I thought it was really, um, looked really nice and it's under $200 and in stock, but that was awesome. And then I just went on Cherish and also found some other really simple, clean tables that you could be um, getting them from Cherish or you could be looking on Facebook Marketplace for them, but like just really simple, like brass or chrome, modern clean table with like a glass top, or you could even get a glass coffee table that has more ornate legs, but still the overall footprint, footprint feels really clean. Those could be great options for you as well. And this one from Cherish is actually only $320. It's in New York. I don't know if that's like upstate New York. You could look at the listing. The link will be below if you're interested. But that could be a really great find to get a coffee table that big and that ornate and beautiful um, for like a great price. Uh, so that would be amazing. If they offer pickup, you could save there. So those are my things that I source for you guys. I am listing everything in the links below. And um, yeah, I just want you guys to think about a little bit of a different mindset when it comes to thinking about your style, because part of what I think makes an interesting home is the mix, is creating a space that has a cool mix of furniture from different eras. And that can be really challenging, but that's what's gonna take your design to the next level. So if you are interested in getting a little bit more deeper understanding of how to do that, I have a series of digital style guides that I sell. They're very affordable and they will actually help you figure out how to mix furniture of different styles, different textures. I have a lot of lessons on that. I'll teach you how to create a mood board, how to lay out your awkward floor plan. So the link is in the bio for that if you guys are interested in that. And if you buy a style session, each one of those has the ability to ask me one question, which would include sending a picture of your home, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Definitely subscribe for more tips like this. And thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.